Black Mirror has been a series that swings for the fences and usually strikes out. Started off great. It's gone. Going down, baby. Let's explore. Joan is awful. So what we have here is an exploration of what it means to be uncivilized. That's right, I am the man you may know, Z, and I am from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I am here, I was. St- I just watched Black Mirror Season 6, Episode 1, Jonas Awful, and I was so <laughs> angry, I had to come up and make a video about it, because I'm just like, <laughs> So, what's fascinating is, I, I, I've been watching... Black Mirror since 2011 when it first came out and it's 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 always been an interesting show because it's kind of forward looking and it was looking into things that were like future technologies and and how they can twist back on us and how things can go awry I remember there was the episode about the drone dogs there was drone dogs that would hunt down people and how there was like little to no control of the simple concepts executed very well and this show has lost its way so far i remember there was an episode about you could record everything with your eyes and you get a perfect uh you know recollection perfect memory and how that would destroy your you know without context without emotion it would destroy your life and how that would be difficult to work through all of those amazing concepts are gone and i know technology has moved quite a far away since 2011 and and we're looking back on it and it's but but you could still be forward thinking and it just seems like the creator of the show has just got himself in a place where he has no idea what he's doing it's a complete rut and this show especially it's the day it's the first episode and you really got to sink your teeth in it and his way of doing it is having sama hayek and michael sarah in the show which completely and playing themselves, so it completely pulls you out of whatever you're watching anyway. Girl Boss is out the wazoo. Spoilers for this. We're going to get into it. I'm going to explain why I was so freaking irritated and angry about this. It, it just, it, it was, I could hardly finish it. I watched it so you didn't have to. Well, let's take a look. Black Mirror Season 6 kicks off with a meta takedown of our streaming saturated era first of all the streaming wars are seem to be slowly coming to an end or they're going to because we can see disney's taking a tank the only one that's going to survive seems like netflix seems pretty strong but all the rest of them are struggling they're just blowing out cash so whatever you think of entertainment in the future and streaming like it's going to change it's this is a temporary state why is is Black Mirror focused on this now? And it's so meta because they're like making fun of Netflix, which is where they've been on this entire time. Netflix is substituted by Streamberry, and Streamberry has a similar logo. So it's, it's clearly Netflix. And the premise for the show is, what if Netflix made your own life and made it so bad that peop- the people that you know that watch it all hate you now like the small group of people that are impacted by this it's just so extraordinary so there's this woman she's a girl boss she's a ceo of her own company you don't know what the company is because who cares doesn't matter it's irrelevant none of that matter you know it's some sort of tech company right girl boss woo girl boss and she's firing people because the board wants her to because who cares about our environmental contract? It's a company. Companies are not good. They are evil or neutral at best. Who cares? But she's like all upset because she has to fire somebody because they just they don't like her algorithm and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, she moves on. She's got this life. She goes to a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist is like, what's going on with you now? And she's like, I have this boyfriend, this fiance that I'm into. And, you know... My fiance is uh, vanilla, and I used to have super amazing sex with this other guy, but it was awful. But not 15 minutes in, I'm like, "What am I watching? I don't care. I don't care about your life. I don't. I don't even know what you do for a living. You're just a girl boss, CEO, 
coffee's no good, go fix it, because I hates the coffee. I just, none of this matters. So 15 minutes in, and remember, I talked about Black Mirror and how it used to be good. Black Mirror used to be interesting, used to have concepts, perfect recollection, crazy drones, things that we're going through now, right? And now we have, and then don't forget that there was, you know, Miley Cyrus singing Nine Inch Nails Head Like a Hole in her ridiculous, like the absolute pinnacle of the worst part of Black Mirror and Miley Cyrus. Not even naked. Like what is going on here? Anyway, so here we are, girl boss, and she sits down with her fiance and then all of a sudden there's a show called Joan is Awful. The girl looks just like her. Oh, my God. She has two streaks in her hair. Like, oh, looks just like her. But she's played by Salma Hayek on this Netflix streamberry thing. So she goes through, and she's watching, and her real life is is coming out, but it's dramatized, right? And I'm just like, what is it? Like, what is this? This is so meta. I don't even care. I, I just, it it goes beyond, and meta by the sense that it's Black Mirror commenting on Netflix, where Netflix has developed a streaming show about regular people. And the engagement is amazing. Oh my God. It's so, so stupid. I just was like, this is your premise. This is why don't care at all just ridiculous i can't even like it's so stupid because it's her private life even though she's a public figure she's a ceo and yeah and they're like what can we say now this is from den of geek they're like this is such a fun episode no it's not it was incredibly stupid because this woman, like everyone, like people start recognizing her in public. First of all, they race swapped her. So Salma Hayek is playing some rando Karen. Salma Hayek doesn't look even look like her. Just because her hair looks the same? Because they have two streaks in their hair? So stupid. So, ugh, so stupid. So anyway, she, she her whole life falls apart. Because, you know... There's a fictionalized show on her about television, or like a television show, and nobody believes that it's fake because obviously TV is real. Everybody, dur, 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 I didn't realize that reality TV isn't real. It's not completely fake and scripted. So obviously it's traumatized. Everybody's like changed. You know, they even swapped. There's like her gay guy assistant. He's been swapped. He's been race swapped. Like it's not even the same people. And then all of a sudden, in the show, Sama Hayek goes, oh my gosh, they made a show about me, and it's Kate Blanchett is playing her. So they race swap to race swap a race swap. Like, what is even going on here? And it's not interesting, because I just don't care. I'm just like, why? Why? So anyway, they continue to go on, and the only way this girl, this girl boss CEO, Karen, we'll call her Karen, even though her name is something else, Karen decides... What's the only way, like, I need to get the manager's attention. So how can I get the manager's attention? I'm going to get Salma Hayek. She's, she, she goes to her attorney, and her attorney's like, you signed terms and conditions. Guess what? South Park already did this. Like, 10 years ago, dude. You're ripping off South Park? South Park had an Apple iPhone episode where when you accept the terms and conditions of an Apple iPhone, you agree to become a human centipede. Could you be any more unoriginal? Could you be any more unoriginal? This is so stupid. So anyway, I'm watching this unoriginal piece of garbage. And um, her attorneys are like, it's cool. You'll, you'll agree the terms and conditions. We can't sue you. People sue each other all the time. And, and it doesn't matter. Your side against my side. We sue each other. And usually the big company sells in court. Right, so they're saying that Salma Hayek didn't actually act in it. She's a uh, they use CGI to make the whole show, whatever. So the so Karen's decision to get Salma Hayek's attention to cancel the show is to take eat a bunch of food, eat a bunch, drink a bunch of X lax, go into a church dressed as a cheerleader, and crap all over the floor during a wedding. And I was just like, yeah, I just I can't, I can't, I can't, not even. 
<laughs> so then they show Salma Hayek reenacting this, dressed as a cheerleader, going into a Catholic church, and she's mad about it. So the two of them team up. They end up going to Streamberry Corporation because they have some super duper computer that's magic, that's creating this magic show because it's listening to her through her phone and whatever nonsense they want to come up with. Because, you know, Netflix is just going to make a million shows that are completely engaged about yourself. And it's only when it's awful are you going to pay attention. Because if it's good, nobody would care. But if it's awful, we'll watch it. Because it destroys your life. Yeah, n none of this makes sense. Then they're, t they're talking to Michael Sarah, And they're like, this goes like 18 levels deep. Because this is a fictitious version of a fictitious version of a fictitious version of a likeness of a... Don't care. I was so checked out at that point because I saw Michael Sarah, And I was just like, yeah, I don't care. Mount. So, long story short, this was terrible. It was awful. One of the worst things I've seen in a long time. And Black Mirror has put out some pretty bad episodes. And this was so terrible. I just, I, I can't even. I, I just can't. I don't. They, they completely lost other character. It, it, it was like watching pointlessness. And the main character that you watch the entire show for, it's a freaking hour. And for 55 minutes of it, I'm watching one girl. Well, apparently she's not real and I don't care about her. And, and, and no one cares about her, so she's gone. So stupid, so many celebrities just thrown in this for no good reason, just because, just, yeah, Ben Barnes was in it. Um, the girl from Shit's Creek, Allie uh, Penku, Penku, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. This is terrible. Tell me what you think down below. Am I? Have I lost my mind? Have I lost my mind? Or is it just another really terrible Black Mirror? Because you have expectations, and then they're pretty low, and you get a Miley Cyrus episode, and you're like, eh, I can't get much low. Then you get a Sal Hayek episode, and you're like, I can't. no, no, no. I, I, should I watch another episode just to torture myself? Just to get me frothing at the mouth with rabies? Let me know in the comments below. Should I watch another episode? Because I, frankly, I, I'm not even sure that I want to. But we do have a full-length audio podcast. Uh, that's on St <laughs> Stitcher, uh, iTunes, Spotify, all those other places. I'm so angry. I can't even. <laughs> and I'm going to do another video where I'm really angry. So anyway, um, catch our our. Live stream, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Times. Friday nights, come join us. It's a party. It's fun. I, I, I get a little worked up sometimes. Anyway, thank you so much for, for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Really helps us. We're trying to beat beat the, the YouTube. We're also on Rumble, so you can come hang out with us there. But as for myself, uh, I am on to the next one.